Tens of thousands of pounds of hazardous waste was left unattended in a Sebring neighborhood for years. Now two men face felony charges for allegedly ignoring repeated warnings from the EPA to clean the property. Cindy Canty has been in Sebring all day talking to people who say that they've been living in fear of the toxic chemicals right in their backyard. I just want to know when it's going to be taken care of and gotten rid of all the chemicals. Toxic wastes found illegally stored at a Sebring facility caused the Environmental Protection Agency to get involved. Sebring Industrial Plating Company was found storing more than 38,000 pounds of hazardous waste. Some of those wastes include cadmium, which can cause cancer, hydrochloride acids, which are highly corrosive, and chromium, which, among other things, can cause a weakened immune system or death. Neighbors tell me that after years of living near the toxic waste, they're relieved that the EPA stepped in and is doing something about it. They now hope that their neighborhood will be a safer place to live. So I've been concerned about it since I moved in here because there's a tank that's real close to my property that I was concerned about because it's toxic. Officials from the EPA say they've been working with local and federal authorities to secure the site. And although it has been secured, an investigation is still ongoing. Three men in connection with the facility, Samuel Hopper Jr., Brian Andrews Hopper, and Richard Sicklesmith face felony charges. With more local news, I'm Sydney Canty.